Now let's take a look at creating a database without DBCA at all, command line or graphical. We go to the online documentation, just the documentation, no searching, and we go to the admin guide, the one that you should be reading from cover to cover. Open that guy up, expand all. Do a search for create database and there is step by step the instructions on how to do this. So they give you the steps. They say, okay, pick a name, set your variables, um, decide whether or not you're going to have an Oracle password file, create a P file, don't worry about this, etc. So let me pretend I'm in the exam and I know I will have a browser to use in the exam. What I won't have is the internet. So I'm going to limit myself to the documentation, but I won't search it using the uh, online searching. And what's really nice about this is if I go to the admin guide, HTML, and do exactly the same thing, I go expand all, I hit slash on the keyboard and type create database. You See how that worked? I didn't have to do control F. I can navigate into here and literally just copy and paste these statements. So in the exam what I would do is I would open up a text editor, let's say vi, mylog.txt, and in here I'm going to kind of write up a little script. And it, it doesn't have to be a script script, like one that can run flawlessly. It's just really a note notes for myself. So I'm going to call this ex3. Okay, um, that's example three. And uh, of course, actually, I just want to export this guy out. Okay, so we set the SID. Then Oracle Home as well. Okay. Now, do we want to create a password file? Sure. So cd oracle home dbs and in there rpw. Right? Now, let's say I don't remember the syntax for this because it's not every day that I create a um, a password file. No problem. Because much like most of these utilities, I can just run it. Uh it would be nice if it was actually in my path. Oops. There it is. Or a PWD. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and there's the syntax. So it's file equals file name. And in this case, since it's ex3, I want this to be Aura PW ex3. That's going to be the name of the password file. And actually, that's pretty much all I need to supply. Yeah, of course. Have to run this out of the home. Password for sys will be Oracle. And we're done. Now we want to create an init file, or a p file rather. So in the p file, which is going to be named init ex3.ora, Inside this file, we just need one line, db name equals ex3. Okay, the control files, the memory target, these will be filled in as soon as we actually uh, start up an instance and start setting the parameters. Of course, that's assuming that I'm using an sp file. Okay, well, I'll be converting this to an sp file very shortly, and that's actually right down here. But first, you need to obviously connect and then you create the sp file from p file. So next is sql plus ssdba, which should be an idle instance. And then we want to do a create sp file from p file. And then um, bring the instance up. Ah, don't need a semicolon. OK, so that that's roughly what I believe I'm going to do. So notice I'm keeping a log on the side just so 
I keep track of what I'm doing, and I might want to put a comment here too, like creating ex3 by command line, so I remember what I was doing. Okay, so <clears throat> let's uh, see where I was at. I was uh, going to create a parameter file, so let's just echo db underscore name equals ex3 into init ex3 to aura, and let's. Ah, right. Okay, so we're going to uh, create sp file from p file and then start up mount. Ah, sorry, start up no mount. <laughs> of course. I don't have a control file yet. <laughs> Why did I think it was, yeah, and it says no mount right here. So follow the guide, right? <laughs> don't get too creative. And then finally we do the create database. Okay, so now this is going to be interesting. So I'm actually going to uh, copy and paste this like this. Okay, and just kind of put it in here. See how easy that was? And we're just gonna open this up a little bit and minimize that out. While we're at it, I better make a directory for this. Oracle or a data ex3, right? And this is the first database I'm creating on this box. Um, there we go. Okay. And notice um, the example that I pasted here. We're assuming that the new database is going to be called my new DB. So I'm just going to do this search for um, my new DB replaced with ex3 my log. All right, and then I can op I can just copy and paste this right. So I can go like this, grab this. Some of you may know uh, how to use VI to do search and replace. I do too, um, but I'm just showing this to those of us that might be just DBAs. So uh, I want to open up my log again. We'll take out those lines and we'll paste it after the search and replace. Now that didn't work here, ex3, ex3, and ex3. And we don't actually have a second location for a multiplex. So let's not do it. So you can you can pretty much just adjust this to fit your database. Okay, this is going to be identified by Oracle. Identified by Oracle. And check all these out. Make sure that you've got the right values here character set, you know, is the character set going to be, um, maybe I'm going to change this to AL32UTF8, and hope I got that right. Of course we're using LMTs, and where are we storing our data files? Okay, we're just going to put this on regular file system for now. Um, I'll be practicing migrating to ASM later. So, looks good. We have a default table space. We're going to call it users. There's a reasonable size for it. You know, pick pick a size. Doesn't really matter. Obviously, if it's specified on an exam or something like that, you would just match all of this to what it, what they ask for. Okay. So, um, yeah, auto extend on this is probably a good idea. Auto extend on this is probably a good idea temp is not. Okay, that appears to be it. So I think we're ready to go with this. If I just go like this, now what's interesting is we're not creating a control file. We're just going to create a database. So the control file is going to be in its default location which isn't really 
Ah. Yes. This is non-existent, this location. So it's uh, app, oracle, or a data. App, oracle, or a data. App, oracle, or a data. And let's do this again. Right. Okay, so the control file already exists. And as I said, because we're not explicitly creating a control file, it gets created in the default location, which is this weird place. Control x ex3.dbf. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to deliberately put it in the wrong spot. Because here's the thing. If I'm working on an exam and I'm kind of flustered, I might just copy and paste and not make the right, you know, might not do all of this in the right order. And it doesn't seem to talk about control file in here. Or maybe I scrolled right past it. So, ah, it says right here. <coughs> if you're using OMF and your init parameter file doesn't contain control files parameter, then you must create a server parameter file now so that we can adjust the control files um, parameter. Okay? Well, in this case, I didn't actually even specify where it's going to go. I could have set and probably should have set my file destination. Then at least it would go into this uh, data directory. Okay? But I didn't. I deliberately did this as rinky-dink as possible. Okay, so, and they kind of document everything in here. So, if I'm kind of wondering what the defaults are, I can see all of that here. There's the file destination. See, so maybe it would have been a good idea to add that to my parameter file as well. But I didn't. If I had, then of course I could just use OMF. And this create database statement suddenly looks a lot easier. And then, of course, you might want to create some additional table spaces. And probably most importantly, you will want to have your views, your PLSQL procedures, and uh, also this basic utility stuff for SQL Plus. OK, so really, it's just a matter of taking that, essentially copying and pasting it down here. And that's pretty much it. Even says an exit right there. And then probably take a backup. Might be a good idea. Database is created. Yay. Let's just verify that we're open. We are. So now what I want to do is run this catalog script, which should not take very long. OK. And now what we want to do is cat proc. Now this takes a bit more time. And now I want to run the last script, the pup build. Notice that it's not in the RDBMS directory, it's in the SQL plus directory. So there we are. And we should be good. This handmade database should be ready to go. Um, Control file is not exactly in an ideal location. It's sitting in the DBS directory of um, the database home. But I'm going to leave that alone for now, just to have kind of a mess. And I guess one last thing I want to do is edit my Aura tab file and add ex2 user1 app oracle product 1120 db home underscore one. Do not auto start it. And uh, and as you can see, I do have GI here. So it would be nice if it was registered with GI. So what if I do this, SRVCTL add database dash d ex3 dash o user one app oracle product now 
I don't have a listener. Or do I? Um, I do not. So, another thing to do is to verify that port 1521 is not in use. It is not. Okay. That's interesting. So, just going to quickly create one. First, let's bring down ex3. Huh. Ah, yes. There we are. Uh, let's bring down ex3. And here would be a good time to get a backup of the database. And maybe also put the database into archive log mode if we want. But before you do that, make sure your recovery destination is set or the archive destinations are set. But my goal right now is to get this database under Oracle Restart Control. So now that I have EX3 shut down, let's add listener on port 1521. That's going to possibly create a listener.aura, but it did not. Start listener, and there's my listener.aura. And it's not listening on port 1521. So we edit this. Okay. And now let's bounce listener. Now my goal, of course, was to register my database. So SRV CTL dash D. Actually, it's already registered. There it is. And there we go. So my goal was to have my EX3 database controlled by um, by Oracle Restart. And you can see I've already registered it with Restart. But now I just wanted to make sure I had a listener up. So now I should be able to do an SRVCTL D. Uh, sorry, um, start database dash D. EX3. And EX3 was the database that I created using this process up here in this log file, or my, my, uh, my log file. Okay, so there you go. That's how you hand build a database using create database statement and have it registered with GI.